So here now, this is my list of invasive species found in TNT and my opinions about it. And first on the list is the capybara. Now some people find this invasive and other people find it not invasive. There's still more study to be done on this species, but I put it here because it have the potential to be very invasive. But I believe mm, I have questions about it. Yeah. And next is man's best friend, dog or potong, right? Now, some people will be like, how this invasive? And yes, it is very invasive. They sometimes dig up like turtle eggs and other animals and thing. And yeah, they are quite invasive and does some damage to Trinidad nature. So they're here. Now, this animal, cats, is very invasive. Talk about how detrimental it is to the environment. It eats many of our local reptiles, mammals, and birds. They are cute, but they are destructive. That's why most people will recommend keep your cat indoors because they go on a hunting spree when they go outside. And most people don't know, black rat is also invasive. They are originally from Southeast Asia. And hmm, now they spread all over the world because of trade and other things. So yeah, they are quite invasive, bringing over pests and destruction to local fauna and flora. And also their cousins. The brown rat is also very invasive. That from Northeast Asia. And it is more aggressive than the black rat. But the brown rat is also invasive and quite destructive i believe a little more destructive than the black rat but it is one of the invasive creatures in tnt so we have the wood mouse and this one is native to europe and africa but it came over by via trade and trading goods and other things but this is invasive to tnt and most of the new world so yeah, that is the next one. It's also cousins to the next invasive creature, which is the house mouse, which came over by agriculture, like trade in agricultural goods and also the pet trade. They are not sure exactly where it is from because I hear different stories. But what I do know is they are not originally from TNT. And most people know about the small Indian mongoose. Now, this is so invasive. I know in Europe, it is illegal to breed, trade, or have them as pets. And it's also illegal to have them as pets in Trinidad. They eat local birds, reptiles, insects, and other animals. And they're good at hunting. Let me just say that. So this one, I am puzzled by this. Tuft capuchin. People say they're invasive. They compete with the local white-fronted capuchin. But... I have come across them many times and I'm and I haven't seen the heavy competition. Um, I didn't see much when it comes to I, let's just say I have questions. I'm not entirely sure. This bird is originally from sub-Sahara Africa and it came about during the pet trade. They brought in this bird to sell as pets because they couldn't get much of the local ones. So now it competes against the local birds for food and other thing other nesting spots and thing in grassy areas. Now, I don't know much about this next one, the village weaver. And I believe it came across because of the pet trade, but I am not entirely sure. But what I do know, it's invasive and it came from sub-Sahara Africa as well. So yeah, this one competes against other birds for nesting material and spots. The three-colored munia originally is from Pakistan, India, China, around there. And it came into Trinidad via the pet trade. And now it's found in several grassy areas and savannas and those places. And it competes against our local birds. So next we have the most invasive bird species. The pigeon or common pigeon. They are originally from Europe, North Africa and Western Asia. Now you can find them all over the world. And they are host to mites and several diseases. They also compete against our local doves and pigeon for food. So the other one, I have some questions about it. And that is the Redia slider. They say it's the most invasive reptile in Trinidad and Tobago. But I have seen more local ones than these. And the places people tell me have plenty of the Redia slider, I have seen very little. So I will put them on the list because some people consider them invasive. But I don't consider them that invasive. So here's the most invasive fish and that is the Nile tilapia and this Nile tilapia is found everywhere, everywhere, even the sea you could find it. 
but this is so invasive and it even changes the um vegetation in the swamp but yeah it came across because of aquaculture food yep they're originally from africa and also the mozambique tilapia which is also which also came across by aquaculture and it is very invasive but not well yeah it is invasive anyhow you take it so yeah it looks similar to the nile tilapia but the mozambique tilapia is slightly different and i find I have more colors this invasive species is kind of dangerous and as a lionfish it is highly venomous and it is from the indo-pacific ocean and it came over via the pet trade from it came to america and then currents bring it down here so yes it's invasive and it eats our local fish species out at sea now i know most farmers know the pain of this one giant african land snail a pain when it comes to agriculture now i've heard two stories of how they came into trinidad one was somebody brought them to grow them as food and the other one was they came in through agricultural goods from africa but i don't know which one is true but all i know they're a big press problem and we have this red claw crayfish or tropical blue crayfish uh, yeah however you want to call them but they are i said in a video before they're from australia yeah, they're originally from Australia and they came in through aquaculture and the pet trade, but mainly through aquaculture and things. So, moving on to their close but distant cousin, the giant river prawn. This is not a crayfish, it is a prawn. And this one is from Asia as well. I think East Asia, if I could recall. And this was brought over by aquaculture. Not so much the pet trade, but kind of the pet trade, but more aquaculture and escaped into rivers and things because the government can maintain the ponds now a nightmare to most hibiscus growing lovers who like to grow hibiscus the mealybug yeah they don't need much to say about them there's pests to most countries invasive to most countries they suck dry most plants now most people don't know the american cockroach or ship cockroach is invasive it is originally from africa i don't know why they call it american cockroach but it is invasive um yeah they are pests and they humbug human life and they also transmit diseases and bacteria and most people don't know the Aedes aegypti mosquito is also invasive i think they are the most invasive species found in tnt yeah they came across during the slave trade and now they are found all over the world spreading different diseases and killing not only humans but many animals as well and that concludes my list so far of the most invasive species well of the invasive species in trinidad and tobago i know there's a bit more that i missed out if there's more that i missed out please mention it in the comments if you don't like this list sleep by it and on hmm, yeah follow me like me whatever you want to do and until next time i'm the wildlife master and peace out